So to help me get a better sense of what the industry is and why people would do it, my producer Osman decided to fix me up with a session with one of Ireland's most in-demand coaches, a guy called Mark Fennell, who's been doing this for 10 years. It was a normal Monday morning. I'm opening my emails and I see an email from the BBC. Now, I thought it was spam and nearly deleted it. It wasn't spam. It turns out they were running this top secret investigation into life coaching and I wondered why are they reaching out to me? They wanted an experienced qualified life coach so they could find out what is a life coach and a business coach, what's best practice and what can someone actually achieve having a life coach. Now when I read this to say I was honoured is an understatement. I mean it's the BBC so I was like oh my goodness this is amazing that they picked me to play this role. They also wanted me to do life coaching sessions with the head of the investigation. And as she said herself, she was a massive skeptic. So you were a skeptic and now you've had some actual life coaching. I had a session um, with Mark, yeah. And uh, are you a convert? I must say that while I was talking to him, I was thinking, yeah, maybe I, maybe I could book some sessions with this guy. I'm still skeptical and he was skeptical about the industry. So I like, I still, I still don't know how common it is to be as good as him. Yeah. So I think I understand life coaching a little bit more now. Let's say you want more direction in your life. You want to be happier, more fulfilled. Maybe you need a bit more motivation. These days, more and more people turn to a life coach like Mark for advice, for guidance. You might meet once a week or fortnight where a life coach will give you options and ideas. They'll try to help you work things out. As it was a top secret investigation, they couldn't actually tell me who they were investigating. And I'm glad they didn't, because I didn't want to be in a role of pointing fingers or criticizing. And not knowing who the investigation was actually about really enabled me to play that role. The whole purpose of the role was not to criticize how other people do things. The whole purpose of the role had one clear objective, to protect people in the future, steer people in what is a life coach and what is a business coach, and also what it's not. There are loads of training courses people can take. Some of them take years to complete. Mark Fennell has a life coaching qualification certified by the Irish State Regulator for Higher Education. But anyone can become a life coach and start offering their services with no formal training or qualifications at all. And lots of people do. So the show is called A Very British Cult and it was made into a TV show and a series of podcasts. I'm on episode three of the podcast, but the show, when it went live, made all of the UK papers, which is pretty phenomenal. And the podcast has been trending in number one on iTunes and Spotify, and is still in the charts today. So if you wanna hear the whole story, the incredible story of the people and what they've been through, well, you can go check it out. The link is in my bio, and you can also search it on iTunes and Spotify. And to be honest with you, I'll never forget it, because the fact that the BBC asked me to be involved was an honor.